I'm back at it, but these guys are casting, so I lost that time right there because I thought they were going to have a little bit more time. What we're doing now, instead of going straight down the line this way, over here, we're going to move this way because of the wind direction. So. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuche, and as I was explaining earlier in the video, <clears throat> with the wind changing direction, we chose to, or they chose to, change the direction of everybody casting. So, with that being said, everybody's gearing up to start the next round of casting and we did two or three rounds maybe four on the fourth on the first video and now we're setting it up Alright guys, so as you all saw in the first video, I was casting the MXL Raptor with the Breakaway. It was a 13 foot rod, something like that. And uh, I'm casting Braid, hollow core Braid. Um, I started out with the Cortland 100 um, pound test as a top shot, casting on that with an 8 ounce weight. However, I'm setting up now, because I'm, I'm changing the game on my... Uh, casting because I want to know if by changing up on the thickness of my top shot will it enable me to do better so that's what I'm working on now let's see how this works out for me I'm going into the 80 pound of the tight line holocore 12 strand for these cats That's 900 and something feet. <laughs> 330, 990 feet. With the braid? Yeah. But you definitely need a shock leader on it. Yeah, we need this one. Here, let's do this real quick. Pull it off here. This one, I don't know how many yards it is. It's all right. I'm only adding like 20, 20, 30 feet. That way, when you put all that power into it, you don't break off. This is solid, okay. It's solid, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over on this side. But you, you're gonna see a hell of a different, you, are you wetting your braid and all of that? Once yeah, you cast it out? And Nick told me, what the hell you wouldn't for? <laughs> yeah, but, but he, yeah, he, everybody's used to mono. Mono, yeah. they do not wet the braid because it slows down the cast. Yeah. But for, for braid, you have to have it wet because otherwise you're gonna burn it right off. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. What? Just three. Yeah, do three or four right now. Yeah, and this is 
It's a J braid, man. I kind of noticed it bleeds a lot. Yeah, three fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the cord and then off the line and put a tight line for the top shot. Yeah, just because I'm throwing 100 pound and I'm gonna see if by putting 80 if I'll get a bit more off the reel on cast. So. And that's one of the beautiful things about the braid too, you don't hear that big old yeah. No, I was tying it on. You're tying it on? Yeah. That's the one that I just untied the knot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent it through four times. This is just a simple knot in there. Do not fish this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I won't, man. But but you can have the braid, bro. It'll be a good top shot for that MXL when you switch over. So bring this reel in and bring that one, so you already you don't have to pay this for a top shot. Yeah, yeah get get hollow core, bro. Like I'm uh, saying, once I get this dialed in, I'm gonna let you cast it, bro, and it's gonna change your life. <laughs> oh wow. I did that with braid, with the hollow core, in the dark, and I was able to get it out. Might as well just get a new reel at that point. For you? <laughs> no, no, I got it all out, and I was able to I was able to fish it in the dark. Dang it, that's not enough. All right, can I borrow that spool, boss? Yeah. Yeah, I filled up his reel, and it's still. I still don't have enough space for it. Oh, you're good. You're not fighting a fish. All you're doing is casting. And it ain't going to be pulling off that much amount of uh, drag off of it because you got it so loose. You know? changing real. Oh, I almost pulled that down. I saw that. I thought I got to change it now no matter what. It helps. This is just like this. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to an 80 pound top shot. Huh? Who's that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to pass on this one, guys. I'm going to pass as well. So whoever's number 13. I don't know. I didn't look fast. Glad I'm doing that. Oh man, it was free. I, I, I did a dry cast on this last one. I almost burned off. Oh shit. Damn it. Yeah, it's great when you're fishing because it's always coming in wet. You yep. know what I mean? But over here, it's not doing too good because the, the last cast, well, the one before it, I wet the braid oh, yeah. on the way in perfect, but this last one I did a dry cast. So. That's the way to do it. Yeah, they're gonna try getting into braid on that. They're gonna have to really concentrate on keeping their braid wet, or they're gonna have burn-offs. And but like backlashes like that, 
Yeah, no worries. On that hollow court? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I got some in the car, man. <laughs> I had to, I couldn't do it on your reel, it was too much braid. No, man. Yeah. Yeah, I want to pull that one out and I want to go to a high vis yellow on a, on a braid. Go with the hollow core, boss. Cause that this is the reel that goes on on my on my uh, breakaway rod. Mm -hmm. So I want the the yellow, the hybrid yellow one. There you go. <clears throat> Where is the restroom around here? I uh, don't. We have to go to the dam over there to the station. Oh, okay. The yellow line. Yeah, I want to go here next in a bit. There it goes. I'm down at the bottom. And here's the beauty of it, guys. This is why I love the hollow core. Hey Nick, Nick, you want me to, you want to see a, a change out of top shot on hollow core? Alright, I'll wait for you. And whoever else wants to check this out. Hey, he's showing you this new hollow core. Hollow core braid. See how this is yellow over here? And that's the chartreuse, 60 pound to 100 pound. Where's the joint? You're looking at it. So in. Wow, isn't that nice? Right, right there. Yeah. What's the poundage on it? 60 to 100. Oh, wow. But I'm noticing on my cast, I'm not getting the distance I want to get. So because of that, like I said, this is what I've been casting. But I'm taking it off the reel. I'm going to put 80 pound on there. So y'all with the knots, I mean, right now, like I said, you can't. Oh, that's strong. You cannot. Isn't that great? It's Good. like the old Dacron. We used to do that with Dacron. Yeah. Ago. But now, find the center point. So, so there's that. <laughs> hey, let me go and I've got to do this. All right. A little, little needle. But now, you can go right back through the same hole. You can start a new hole. in there and I only have to go like 12 inches so I just go back to right where I started so there pull it in there pull it out now I pulled it through the hole right I'm gonna pull it in just so the tip is hidden start locking it in place and I'm gonna come on this side and do the opposite Yeah, it's a Chinese finger trap, but inverted. Right. So those are both that kind of line? Yeah. I brought that one so I could put it on the SX, because that one only needs a little bit of top shot. This is so that knot that everybody fears of hitting while they're casting mm -hmm. is no longer there. Right. And you notice when my line goes through, there's no da -da -da. Yeah. It's yeah. clean. Who had gone? Uh, all I'm doing is making sure all the braid is taken out in the center. I'm going to work my way from the center out. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Wow, that's so cool. Albert, you go yet? No, I'll, I'm putting on a new top shot, boss. I skipped okay. over on this one. And can you hold this for me like this? Just enough to hopefully not bend the needle. <laughs> oh, and also, where's my water at? I left it on that truck. One second. So I had a 
100 yard top shot of the 100 pound. Yeah. I, I'm probably going to get like a build 20 with this one. So. I'll go. What's up, Hoss? Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, we're here at this uh, casting field in oh. Kingsville. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking you were at the shop. Oh, okay. man. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be out here for shoot, a few more hours, boss. You want to swing out here? You can learn some things. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm stuck at home. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to make it out there next weekend, though. I, I, I text Robert and, and uh, Edgar, so... Oh, okay. All right, boss. Well, yeah, no, I'm not at the shop, but we did we did get that rod set up for you, boss. Okay. I was asking, I was calling because I wanted to ask, is there any way to get that rod through the zip tie? Because I know it's a little bit Let me get with the rod builder, and I'll let you know on that. Will do. That'll do. All right. Yes, sir. You have a good one. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, I changed out the tip to put 80 pounds. Took out the 100. The 100 was a lot thicker, so I'm going to see if this will work. Where's your store at now, man? Uh, 1902 SPID, right off of, uh, you know where uh, Bubba's 33 is? On uh, uh, SPID, the Walmart in Greenwood. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm right across the highway from that. So, what do I do with the weight? Prayer on this one because uh, it doesn't do it. Had her, so. <laughs> no, they, uh, some of the braids they added this uh, deal to keep water out from Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. So that was yeah, the water Guys, let's go. Let's go pick this one up. I think it's my furthest cast.
Yeah, it's pretty awesome, guys. Talking with a lot of the the fishermen from Galveston and other parts of you know Texas that have come out for this event. And you know, it's not a heavy tournament, but it is a. You see them working with each other, teaching them proper form, technique, posture. I mean, all of that plays into effect of how you're casting. And so for me, you know, I went back to my my regular hatter's cast instead of the pendulum cast, and I got the same exact yardage with the 80 pound on there. You know, I don't know how much yardage I have on there until I get back to the shop and I cast it or spool it off and find the top shot. But I'm also throwing with the MAGA 4. What I mean by that is my magnet is set on number four right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put on number three and see how that works out. So, and I do have to apologize guys. I um, somehow left my my tripod deal at the house or at the shop. I don't know what I did. But it's being a pain in the butt. Move your 
Yeah, but you know how it works out. They don't hit on that other stuff. They hit on the smallest. They don't too many barrel crab yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just that, that would be enough to that be enough to show my <laughs> Quite literally. All right. So we are we are moving the vehicles that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. So. <laughs> The make sure I'm recording because last time I wasn't. Yes. Okay. All right, All right guys. So. Yeah, I might I might do the same on this one. Uh, all right, guys. So I went from the MC at four to a three. You want to ride over? Yeah. 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 Um, from the four to the three, and I was four thirteen. Four hundred thirteen feet. That worked, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move over. We'll see what's up. 